Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm in my studio playing, which I haven't gotten to do in a while, and I've been kind of, I don't know, I just can't stay focused. I thought I'm going to sit down and just make a whole bunch of journal covers. That way this winter I can just pick them up and uh, get to work. So I did a little bit of those today. Here are just plain cut ones. Here I started the staining process and then I layered over the colored stained um, covers with, oh, I had some of Tim Holtz paper, some of this tissue paper, and then I also have been using like dress pattern, pattern dress pattern, I don't know what they're called, and just started doing some layers. So I kind of like how those turned out. I still need to do some stitching, which won't take much time. I've even did a couple today. Here's one that I did a stitching around. And another, I still have to do the insides, which maybe will be another project later on this week. Here I did do the insides, got the ribbon ready through here, and I got bored with that, so I had to move to another project. And like I said, I cannot stay focused. So what did I do next? Oh, I um, had been invited to be a guest designer for Jennifer Bishop Anderson with her embellished collage. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to print out all those beautiful images. Here's some of the collage. So I printed them all out and I did do a little video of the process of fussy cutting all these. I don't know if I will put those up. I hope so because it was kind of fun and it was so relaxing. And then when I got those cut, I decided that I needed to play with them. So from there... I had gotten, oh, these little file folders from Staples, and just started distressing them, stamping them up, and then got all those little beautiful pieces from um, the embellished collage and started layering. I just love playing with them, and she had some great wordage did lots of layers. So these are going to be fun to put in my journal. This one's kind of fun. And then from there I saw that I had some scrap paper. I'm like, oh, maybe maybe I should start sewing some pockets. So that would be another easy thing that I can put in my journals. I did a little stamping here. So these are already stitched and I'll just glue them in my journals. Here's some corner pockets. And from there, with those scrap papers, I um, cut out some tags and wanted to try out... What did I do with those? Well, I had this new stamp. Oh, here they are. I had gotten these new stamps, and I'm like, well, okay, I'll play with those a little bit. So I was putting the tags together and stamping them, so they'll have a little more interest when I use them. At least I think, or I hope. And from there, I'm like, oh yeah, those little pockets, maybe I should decorate them with Jennifer Anderson's <laughs> work. So I did this and came up with these beautiful pockets using her embellishments. Use that tag. That's kind of cool. 
I love it. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that, Jennifer. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And then from there, let's see. Oh, I have, well, it all started because my husband had this crazy conversation with me about me not needing to buy any more supplies. I could work in my studio for 10 hours every day for the rest of my life and still not use any of the supplies. And I was just like, well, that's just kind of crazy talk. So um, I did find, I had a couple of boxes of these coin envelopes of different sizes and I started playing with those and made some tags. This does not open. That is just going to be the tag and I'm going to decorate this stuff with Jennifer's um, embellished collage stuff. Here's one that actually is a tag with a little tuck spot. How cute is that going to be? And I all have these fake closures on there. Here's another one. Yeah, I really liked how these turned out. This one is just a tag. I'll design the front here. This one, I put a little flap on it, so when I adhere it to... Do I have a journal here? Yeah. When I adhere it to a page, put this little flap here. I'll probably use like washi tape. Then that can flip out and have a little place for more journaling. But I thought, how cute is that going to be? Yeah, so I am using that. My husband will be happy that I'm using my supplies. I would like to think so. Then I started using some of those Tim Holtz 3D um, embossing folders, which I totally love. Decided to put the little tag and sit in the middle on the corner, make it more interesting, and put a little slot there so you can see it. Here's another one. I wanted the closure to be a little cockeyed. But yeah, I love that. That was a lot of fun. So with these little ones, I decided I need to do some bigger ones. So I do have some that are already cut out. Let's see. Is that the only one? I guess because I used them through the embossing folder. So these are still drying up. So I'll open them up and put their little closures on there. And the little banners to cover them up. But this has been fun. And then I decided that I needed to work on my watercoloring. I don't really watercolor, but I love the thought of it. So I've been playing around with... Um, Trying to learn how to do flowers. This was supposed to be a fuzzy bird. I watched a YouTube video. I don't think I had the proper paper, but it was still fun. Here's some other flowers. I want to cut them up and use them as tags in my journals. Isn't that kind of pretty? And I worked on a bison, wet on wet. I've been kind of playing with it. This is my favorite one so far, and now I'm afraid I'm going to mess up his face. But isn't that cool? I want to use this as a journal cover. That is if I can figure that out. I just need to just, just do it and not even worry if it comes out or not. It's just, it has been fun. And I also did some mousse. I'm really liking that idea. So, I guess, I don't know if I got anything accomplished, really. It seems like I'm all over the place, but it's been fun, and I'm glad that I'm not stuck in a rut, but I wish I would just stay focused and stay at one task and complete it. But um, I have to say, today is flying by, and I'm sure it's because I did have all these different projects in front of me ideas laying around all, all over. 
I hope you're having a beautiful day, like I said, and we will talk to you later. Bye.